what's happening guys so i'm sure we are all pretty much in the same boat where we have just really been chilling at home with a lot of time on our hands personally for me i've utilized this by watching a ton of movies so today i'm just going to go through a list of every single movie i watched during my time in quarantine like i said i have a ton of time on my hands especially because i'm not doing any online classes but there are a total of 30 movies that i've watched in the past almost 30 days i definitely watch at least one if not two a day with my girlfriend so today i split it up into a couple of categories that if you guys are looking for new movie recommendations most of these are going to be available on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you guys find your new favorite movie. All right, first off, we're going to start with some action movies. These are honestly some of my favorite movies that I've seen because there's just something about high intensity action sequences that you can't get enough of. So first off, I rewatched Avengers Endgame on Disney Plus. This is honestly one of my favorite Avengers movies because that ending scene where they all come together is crazy. RIP Iron Man. If you haven't seen it i'm sorry but avengers endgame honestly one of my favorite movies of all time as well there's this new movie on netflix called code b it was basically about a society where some people had the abilities of superpowers a little bit of action it was a little bit of drama if you are into superhero movies i think that code b is going to be a great pick as well salt if you don't know salt it's that movie with angelina jolie where she basically is a rogue cia agent that is accused of being a traitor angelina jolie's performance in this movie is honestly spectacular highly recommend it's a great action movie as well there's this other movie called what happened to monday it's about a society where you can't have more than one child though so every single one of their child is called sunday through monday so only the child whose day it is can go out so monday will go out on monday tuesday will go out on tuesday and basically they all assume the same identity it's really hard to explain i highly recommend just watching it it was super intense but i actually really enjoyed it i also rewatched iron man 3 of all the iron man movies i definitely think that the third one is probably one of the better ones you can't go wrong with pepper pots a few days ago, I also watched Godzilla, the new one that just came out. It has Millie Bobby Brown. I have never seen any of the Godzilla movies, but I was pretty impressed, especially with the graphics in this. It's pretty insane how well they're able to basically show what Godzilla looks like. Definitely recommend checking out Godzilla. It is on Hulu. Next up, we're moving over to some drama movies. These are for when you're in the mood to just kind of relive something or look back on the past and get inspired, maybe. First one's going to be 1917. After months of it being nominated for a ton of Oscars, I finally got around to watch it and let me tell you that yes it absolutely deserved the oscar for best cinematography i think that the way they're able to portray it all as one single take is pretty incredible especially for me as a filmmaker i've watched a ton of behind the scenes and seeing how they had to plan out every single shot is pretty insane i also watched jobs which is the documentary based on steve jobs played by ashton kutcher honestly highly recommend if you are interested in apple or steve jobs at all it does a pretty decent job of portraying the lifespan of steve jobs i also watched snowpiercer which is one of bong joon ho's movie who directed parasite honestly pretty insane concept in general it's kind of hard to explain but basically everyone is stuck on a train and the people in the back of the train are lower in society and they fight their way to the front of the train i think most of bong joon ho's movies are really based around the class struggles and class disparities so highly recommend watching that one if you haven't or if you haven't seen parasite yet it is now available on hulu which is super clutch so definitely recommend checking out both of those movies anything directed by bong joon ho is going to be a hit next up i watched the platform which is on netflix and honestly i wasn't a huge fan of it concept was okay but the overall movie itself was pretty underwhelming definitely not a family movie it's pretty gory but if you're looking for a kind of dystopian kind of fucked up movie look at the platform man on a ledge this is on amazon prime but honestly one of my favorite movies of all time probably i am a big fan of like heist crime movies in the entirety of the movie you're literally on the ledge with this guy um, if you haven't seen it i highly recommend of all movies on this list i definitely think that this is going to be on my top five obviously with a huge pandemic going on i had to watch the day after tomorrow which is based on what would happen if if the climate change really just started going apeshit crazy it was all right it came out in 2004 but it was a decent movie if you're looking for like an apocalyptic kind of film i also watched the soloist um this was a movie that i had never heard of but i saw it had robert downey jr and jamie lynn fox so i definitely had to give it a watch it's basically about a homeless man who plays the cello and he's picked up by a journalist who's played by tony stark honestly pretty good movie um i give it like a six seven out of ten moving over to some scary movies if you're interested in any horror thriller action just kind of dystopian and scary movies in general this is going to be your list first off the host or gamul which is a korean movie but it's also directed by bong joon ho so scary honestly like pretty terrifying if you're into this it is a monster movie but it's definitely going to have you on the edge of your seat the entire time another korean movie which is called train to busan i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it but it is available on netflix and it's about a zombie apocalypse that takes over korea it's pretty insane it's definitely kind of scary so if you're watching this one definitely recommend watching it with someone another movie i watched is ma i'm sure you guys have heard of it or seen some 
some trailers for it. It's led by Octavia Spencer, who plays his mom. I'm not gonna say anything more about this movie. Just give it a watch if you haven't. It's it's all right, it's not the worst. 47 Meters Down Uncaged, shark movie, similar to Jaws, I guess, but definitely pretty scary. <laughs> if you don't like sharks, don't watch this. The Invisible Man, I saw this in theaters before everything shut down, but it was all right. I think it was a little overrated, but I think the concept overall is pretty terrifying. Basically, a guy fakes his death and then comes up with a suit to become invisible. If you haven't watched it, it's available to stream now. The Hunt, I also watched this in the theaters. Honestly, probably the worst movie on this list. I fell asleep, I didn't pay attention, it was not that good. Outbreak is a movie that came out in the early 2000s, but it is essentially a replica of what would happen if the Ebola virus went viral. It's pretty scary, especially during a time like this. I don't say it's a close representation of what's happening right now, but it is pretty scary seeing how a virus can spread that quickly. Comedy movies, if you're looking for a laugh or something to watch late at night, these are my go-to movies. First off, I watched Rush Hour 2 and I watched Rush Hour 3. Honestly, probably my favorite series and franchise of all movies. Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan is an unbeatable combo. Every single time I watch that movie, it has me laughing on my ass. Definitely recommend watching both of those if you haven't already. I also watched The Hangover. I haven't watched this movie in a while and it was pretty funny to catch up on this. What else can you say about The Hangover? Six Underground, this is that new movie on Netflix. It's a little bit of action based, but it has Ryan Reynolds. But anytime he's in a movie, I always think he does a great job of bringing that comedic aspect. It's a pretty decent movie. Highly recommend if you haven't seen it already. Finally, I watched Zombieland 2. If you haven't seen the original Zombieland, definitely have to watch that one first. Both Zombieland movies are pretty funny, so definitely recommend checking out the second one if you haven't seen it either. Now, finally, let's move over to some feel-good movies. If you're in the mood for just a good laugh, a good cry, you just want to feel good about something, then definitely watch these movies. It is going to be, first off, Detective Pikachu. Hey, don't hate on me, but actually a pretty, pretty good movie. I'm not going to lie. I'm personally just a big fan of Pokemon in general, so definitely had to give that one a watch. But I also watched the remake of the original Pokemon movie, which is on Netflix as well. I just think it's crazy how they're able to recreate these Pokemon and make it seem so super realistic. So if you're into Pokemon at all, definitely you have to watch those two movies. The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which recently came out on Netflix. Honestly, I think the book is a little bit better, but I personally really enjoyed the movie. I think it's just a feel good movie. You can't go wrong with watching this one. My last two are going to be Alita Battle Angel, which I recently saw last night, actually. At first I was a little hesitant, didn't really know what it was about, but after watching it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The visuals were pretty insane and the storyline was not that bad. So if you haven't watched Alita, I honestly would give it a shot. The Way Back, this is that basketball movie with Ben and Affleck. Mediocre acting, pretty good storyline, but you can't go wrong with a good underdog story. Last but not least, I rewatched The Blind Side yesterday. First off, Sandra Bullock, I think she's a phenomenal actor based on a true story. And the entire storyline is definitely a feel-good movie. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's definitely going to be one of the best feel-good movies. Now, to sum it up, if I had to pick five movies from this list that I would recommend watching, let me go through real quick and pick them up. And let's say I'm picking one from each category, here's what it would be. For an action movie, Avengers Endgame. You can't go wrong with this, like I said. For a drama movie, Man on the Ledge. This is literally going to have you on the edge of your seat the entire movie. Scary movie, The Host. So terrifying. Comedy, Rush Hour 3. By far, hands down, probably one of the best comedy movies of all time. Feel good movie, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Whew, geez. As you can tell, I have definitely had a lot of time on my hands to watch a total of 30 movies. I hope you guys found something that you are going to enjoy. Like I said, most of these movies are available on the major streaming platforms. So leave a comment down below if you have seen any of these movies or leave me some recommendations because like I said, I'm only going to have more time on my hands and I definitely think that spending that by watching a movie with your friends or your family is a great way to pass the time. If you enjoyed my list of recommendations, make sure to drop a like down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.